we are going to demonstrate how an epoch ebg machine to operate okay so before that i would like to show uh, what all the instrument we are using here in epoch machine fully this is the radar and here is the monitor for you and this is a printer three separate things and this package is for keeping your monitor and this uh, uh, power button is and this is for the okay so first the monitor inside the package okay keeping it on another thing uh, there are uh, two adapters one is for this uh, base base reader and second thing is for the uh, printer okay so first i will show you how to connect the monitor to the reader this coding like this will be connected okay remove like this and put it like this and there is two power buttons one for the monitor Power get the red one. Press it like that. It will be on. And second thing for the reader, this power button, it will be on. So the both the reader and the monitor is now on. Okay. So now as you opens, you can see that on user ID and password. Keep the user ID here. And the user ID is one, two, three, four. And the password is same. One, two, three, four. Okay, login. So as logins, you can see connecting to the reader. Now you can see the configuring the reader. This configuring bar will be moved from here to here. It will be on almost ten seconds. So once the reader is configured, now. And the most most important thing is you can see the insert test card to begin test. So this is the test card. Okay, it should be kept in fridge two to eight degree temperature. Okay, I will open you and show you how it looks like. This is the test card. It has two side. One thing has the barcode. Another thing the port where you have to inject the blood. Okay. Hold the machine like this. Ensure that this triangle is coming to the upper side. Just hold it like this and insert. But gently. Okay. Now you can see card is inserted, inserted, and do not inject sample now unless. The calibration is completed. It is almost 180 seconds. It will take to calibrate the car. Okay. Meanwhile, we will take the EVG uh, sample, which is taken in a heparinized 2 ml syringe. We need almost 0.22, 0.23 ml of blood. Okay. So I have to almost 0.5 ml of blood. It is already heparinized blood. I did take almost. Uh, I think 150. Uh, now around 140 seconds again remaining. Hmm. So as I told you, uh, it should be charged both uh, the cylinder and the reader, and the reader will uh, stand for a uh, standby for 48 hours once you charge for one hour. If you are continuously using the uh, EBG machine, it will take uh, about 30 uh, EBG samples can be done with one single charge. Otherwise, if you are continuously using for six hours in between uh, samples are inserted, means it will last for almost six hours. So do not charge for more than one hour. Okay, as I already told you, two adapters are there: one for the base reader and another thing for the printer. Okay. Now, okay, you can see inject sample. All the 180 seconds is over. One patient ID is there. We can put the ID in there. Let it be one two. We put the patient ID as one two. Now I am going to inject the blood. Okay. So hold the syringe like this. Keep and rotate. Now it will stand like this. Okay. I will push the syringe. Then a beep sound will come. At that time, stop injecting. I stopped. Okay. I think it's finally injected now. So now you can see here, analyzing sample. Okay. It will take almost that 40, 45 seconds. I already told you this system is uh, connected with the LAN on uh, the printer. 
so after the result comes we can take the printout from the printer itself without any wire connection okay the function is over test completed calculating results please wait okay Okay. Patient ID. No. Okay, patient ID and save. Then print. Already patient ID have to be gone. Yeah. So now the print option is here. I am going to print. Test cannot be modified after printing. Okay. Yes. So print. So you can see the printout is will be coming here. Now this is the ABG printout. Now close the window. It's closing. I can remove the card from here. Okay. Here, here again come to this one. This arrow mark, just press here. Log out. I log out. Then now you can I can switch off this machine here. Now this is the cartridge that we have used. Here you can see uh, one expiry date that is 2020-8-31 and 31st uh, uh, August 2020. Just ensure that you are using uh, before expiring the card. And the most important thing is from when so you are receiving this cartridge uh, from the stores, ensure that this expiry date is uh, more than 10 days. If it comes less than 10 days, don't receive from the stores. Tell them to replace with the Epoch company because they will be replacing the card if within uh, before uh, 10 days of expiry. So just ensure that before receiving from the stores, this is more than, uh, the expiry date is more than 10 days, and accordingly only collect the uh, cartridge. Okay, this video is uh, uh, done for the entire analysis of railway hospital Perambur on behalf of Association of Railway Nurses of India. Okay. Thank you.